the vehicle industry is undergoing a radical transformation. With most car manufacturers agreeing the next 10 years will bring more change than the past two decades. The next target date cited by automakers as a progress marker for electric vehicles production is 2025, when everything from materials and fuel to cost and the companies that build cars will all look dramatically different. Due to the rising attention to climate change, automakers are preparing to phase out cars powered solely by internal combustion engines ICEs, as governments look to tackle fuel emissions. The growth in electric vehicles EVs, and hybrid electric vehicles HEVs, is steadily climbing, and by 2025, EVs and HEVs will account for an estimated 30% of all vehicle sales. In 2016, just under 1 million vehicles or 1% of global auto sales came from plug-in electric vehicles PEVs. Experts have estimated that by 2025, this number will rise close to 8.4 million vehicles or 7.7% market share. While this jump is significant, it doesn't compare to the kind of growth expected in hybrid electric vehicles, cars that combine a fuel engine with electric elements. This sector is forecast to swell from just 3% of global market share to more than 25 million vehicles or 23% of global sales over the same period. This leaves pure ICE vehicles with around 70% of the market share in 2025, with this falling to around 40% by 2030, predominantly in emerging markets. It is obvious that electric vehicles are the future, and each year we've seen automakers add more EVs to their lineups. Everyone is working on electric vehicles, from well-established existing manufacturers to new names such as Byton, Canoe, and Rivian. Prices are falling, models are diversifying, and it is all going hand in hand with increased investment and rollout of charging networks. But what electric cars are coming? We've compiled a list of 10 electric vehicles that are either completely recent or coming soon. However, before we dive right in, welcome to Electric Exclusive, where you learn about innovations of the future. Please subscribe to the channel and be sure to click on the notification bell so that when we upload any new videos, you will know immediately. Also, do not forget to like this video, and if you have any questions whatsoever or any suggestions about the videos, please leave them in the comment section for me to attend to them. Cooper Bourne The name quite literally comes from a small trendy precinct in Barcelona of the same name. Not far from the touristy Gothic quarter, there's a metaphor in there somewhere, however, it was lost on the marketeers who've plumped for the plainer Bourne identity. We've now driven the Bourne, and while sales are yet to begin, here are the basics. A 201 bhp motor can launch the electric hatch to 62 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds. Up to 310 miles can be gleaned from its 77 kilowatt hour battery pack, and it can be recharged via a 100 kilowatt charger in around 45 minutes. Less powerful versions along with smaller batteries are likely to follow. It's still possible they'll be wearing seat badges. Nissan Ariya The Nissan Ariya electric crossover was first revealed in 2020, and production can't be very far away now. The Japanese company has one of the best-selling EVs ever in the shape of the Leaf. But that's beginning to look very long in the tooth now, and it's badly in need of a supporting act. Luckily. The Aria has all the makings of a sales hit. It looks stylish, it's a crossover, and figures appear competitive on paper. Two battery sizes will be offered, with the larger 87 kilowatt hour pack returning range of around 310 miles on a full charge. We'll reserve judgment until we've seen the final price tag and are actually driven the thing. Tesla Cybertruck Pickup Not content with electrifying saloons, SUVs, sports cars, and soon articulated lorries, Tesla has now unveiled its radical new Cybertruck, the first all-electric pickup from Fremont. With a range of up to 500 miles, three different power outputs, and seating for six, the Tesla Cybertruck is one of the most exciting trucks on the market, looking more like a DeLorean from Back to the Future than a commercial flatbed. The pickup has now been pushed back to 2023, and we still have no idea if the incredible design will survive into production. 
Tesla Roadster If performance is your thing, the new Tesla Roadster V2, revealed in 2017 and initially due in 2020, is hard to ignore. In typical Elon Musk fashion, the entrepreneur has decreed that the first open-top Tesla will also be the world's fastest car, with 0 to 60 miles per hour in a claimed 1.9 seconds. That's what happens when you plumb 7,300 pound foot of torque through a lightweight four-seater target body shell. Bearing in mind some of the outrageous claims made for other Teslas and the company's inability to launch cars on schedule and budget, we might take its 250 mile per hour top speed and 620 mile range with a pinch of salt. On which note, production has been delayed again. Hyundai Ionic 7 the Hyundai Ioniq 5 hit our roads in 2021 and received plenty of acclaims, especially for its distinctive and futuristic exterior design. The Ioniq 7 is a large SUV set to be launched in 2023. It looks certain to follow the same path, given the design language will be very much in a similar vein to the 5. The Hyundai 7 concept was revealed late in 2021, previewing the Ioniq 7 production model. 300 miles of range is promised, as well as an all-wheel drive model with an output of 600 bhp. Nope, that's not a typo. If the concept is anything to go by, the 7 will be stupendously good looking. BMW i7 The BMW i7 will effectively be an electric version of the next generation 7 series sedan, serving as BMW's flagship car model. It will compete with the Mercedes EQS and other large EV luxury sedans and BMW has already previewed its overall shape with photos of a prototype model testing. It's set to make its debut in 2022 and will likely reach the US market in 2023. Faraday Future FF91 The Faraday Future FF91 once looked like it was going to make waves, but will it ever reach production? We first saw the FF91 at CES 2017, and the startup then said the car was production ready. Most recently, a prototype was spotted testing at its production plant in Hanford, California. It boasts a claimed 1,050 horsepower from two rear-mounted electric motors, plus an available front-mounted motor. Faraday Future claims the big crossover can blast from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds. A 130 kilowatt-hour battery pack, created in partnership with LG Chem, is said to provide an estimated 378-mile range. Faraday says production will begin later in 2022. Polestar 5 Formerly known as the Precept concept, the Polestar 5 is slated as a competitor to the Tesla Model S, Porsche Taycan, and Mercedes-Benz EQS. It's a big and fancy electric luxury sedan, with pricing expected to start around $100,000. We'll be sure to add more details about the Polestar 5 to this box as it gets closer to production. Canoe Pickup Truck Canoe is an electric automotive startup from California, and this is its pickup. For now, it is called Pickup Truck. The Canoe pickup promises 600 horsepower and 200 miles of range. It's smaller than what's typically found in the midsize pickup segment, being two feet shorter than the Ford Ranger. Canoe says its pickup will be offered with a six to eight foot pickup bed with pre-orders open right now, and production starting sometime in 2024. Fisker Pair. Although there aren't many details or real imagery of the Fisker pair that's planned to go on sale in 2024, you can reserve one for as little as $250. The pair will start at $29,900 without destination and will be smaller than the ocean. Pair, which stands for Personal Electric Automotive Revolution, will be a five-passenger two-row SUV and will be built at the Lordstown Assembly Plant in Ohio. More details to follow as the model gets closer to production. So, there's our list. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Which electric vehicle did you find most innovative? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Thank you.